So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video. Now daily, I am still seeing rune farms being posted to YouTube. But at the end of the day, post 1.05, the latest update where we're at right now, the 18th, 19th of June, 2022, there's still only three rune farms you need to be using in Elden Ring. Today, we're getting to it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so rune farming in this game is super important because basically runes are needed for everything. They're yeah, this game's currency. So, the best tree in the game right now, which all players can use, it just means you just have to get to this area right here. Once you get to this area right here, which is in Seal for River, as you can see, the Mogwin Dynasty area, once you get here, guys, you are set. Personally, there are, well, there are rune farms you can use scattered around the map, but at the end of the day, if, you, if it's rune farming you, you're looking to do, you may as well just bite the bullet, do the quest line and get to this area because you'll just earn tons more within this one area. Okay, so how do you actually get here? Well, initially guys, once you actually start the game, you'll come to this place here at the first step. So progress forward, do what you gotta do and you'll end up coming to Stonevale Castle. Now here you need to take out either Godric or Margit, I can't remember which one it is. Either way, I think it's the first one anyway, the first boss which is here. Once you do that, you can come back down to the first step right here. And just to the left of it guys, as you're seeing on the screen now, there will be an NPC. If you speak to this NPC and follow his quest line, you'll eventually get this item which is called the Pure Blood Knight's Medal, which is this right here. Now, if you messed up the quest line, the guy's called the White Face Vi, which you find at the first step, by the way, if you messed that up, the only other way you can actually get down to this great farming spot is to basically progress through the entire game, or almost the entire game, and actually come to this area right here. So to actually get here, guys, you need to progress past the, the capital, up into the mountain tops of the giants you need to beat the boss uh in commander nile up here he'll give you one half of a medallion called the halig tree medallion the other half comes from the npc back down here i can't even remember back down here somewhere um then you take that medallion to the grand lift of road which is here you press left or right on your d-pad you'll come up to this area you need to come over to this area here and there will be a teleporter which will take you down to this area but like i said guys that is extremely long you're best off just doing a white face via request line if you if that option's still there for you i will link a video in the video description showcasing exactly all steps needed for the white face via request line which will bring you to this area well like well actually it gives you that thing like i said the pure blood knights medal now once you get this and you'll see if i use it just use it wherever you are as soon as you get it use it guys it will bring you to exactly where we are at right here the Mogwin Palace. There. Now, the best farm in the entire game, you need to come to this grace point, which we'll do. So jump on your horse and follow the path I'm taking. Simply just run forward, guys, ignore all the enemies, ignore the giant skeletons that will come out the ground trying to get your ass the first time you come here. So, yeah, ignore all that and just come this way. Let's follow the path I'm taking. You want to go towards uh, that big pillar, just run straight past it. You can either go left or right, this doesn't really matter. I'm going to go left these bastards roll at you Let's keep coming and you'll see the hill right in front of you there that is the the jackpot the greatest point at the top of that hill is the jackpot because what it is all these ads on this hill which you can kill pretty quickly if you have the right weapons will give you plus 2000 each and no this is not new game plus this is standard play so run past all these guys and activate that grace point activate the grace point this is the beauty this is the best farm in the entire game. There's no two which ways about it. But this farm here, to kill all these ads fast and efficiently, to earn decent runes quickly, you need a certain weapon. We don't need this weapon. There's other weapons in the game which uh, kill these just as quick. But the relic sword you get for beating the Alden Beast, which is the last boss in the entire game, does this. One swipe takes out the entire hill, just like so. And you can see all the runes I'm getting. I, again, apply those buffs if you have them. You can use a gold scarab. Uh, the talisman which I think I've got on Lego right there you can also use uh, these right here the gold pickled foot as well you'll get like plus 50% runes with both of them applied uh, if you do use the gold pickled foot, don't fast travel to a grace you can run to it and sit down and stand back up if you fast travel to one you lose the buff 
But yeah, once you've killed all them guys, you just sit back down and stand back up. But obviously this weapon here, the Relic Sword, you need to beat the Elden Beast for the last boss. Which kind of avoids the point, because if you complete the game, hey. But there's other weapons in the game. There's plenty of other weapons in this game. We can take out these ads on this hill pretty quickly. And I'll link that video. I actually made a video of like six plus weapons. Uh, you'll find it on my channel, but I'll, if I remember, I'll link it down below. But there's plenty of weapons we can take out of these. There's also spells, so you can take out these ads pretty quickly. Again, kill them, run and sit back down. But hey, if the weapons uh, you don't have or you can't beat certain bosses to get said weapons, you can always farm a bird down here, which is another a very popular spot. The bird right there, you can farm it. You get like 13k plus runes. Uh, 17 with the right buffs on and you can farm him literally every 10 to 15 seconds all you need to do is have a crossbow or a bow have arrows as well have them equipped and i'll reset well this is what i do sit down stand up guys run to this spot right here right there and aim for the c there's a c in the tree there i didn't i didn't cut my weapon because i'm an idiot i haven't got arrows on me because i'm an even bigger idiot or bolts even oh my life oh my life if you can't be set for this one yeah if you can't be set for this people let's try that again let try that again. Okay, so just then just stand back up. Run over here. Stand at the edge and aim for the C and shoot between it. Make sure you don't want to hit the branch when actually aiming between it just like so. And then you'll hit him and he'll run straight off the map. And you'll see you'll get 13 plus K. Now you don't have to wait. You can actually just shoot him and run and sit back down. It's as simple as that. So you can, I'll do it, I'll demonstrate it again. Run over, aim for the C and just shoot. Just like so and you'll see he will turn and run off the map see it back down don't matter you'll get the runes either way they'll be added you're good there you go simple as that now you can do that for as long as you want but there's also an even well it's slightly quicker than that it takes no fighting uh, no shooting no nothing all you gotta do is get on your horse uh double jump off the map and swing and it's again from this grace point so from here follow this path now yeah there was the first two farms and this is the last is this third and final farm these are the only three you really need to use if you don't want to fight enemies use this one it's really really simple let's follow this path i'm taking right here now there's other farms in the game but they're just nowhere near as efficient as these three obviously the relic sword and killing everything on the hill is by far the best the bird's quick this is slightly quicker this will earn you more runes if you're doing it for longer definitely more efficient probably easier as well you just gotta run and jump off the map and swing that weapon but it can get a bit tedious so it's up to you what you use and i will bring a video as well guys if you can't get to this area i'll bring you a video on uh farms outside this area the best in the game but actually you know what they actually tried to patch this initially you'd run and jump off to that platform across there but they patched it to put invisible walls out so all you got to do now guys is just stab that you can see where that actual i can't remember what you call them this here what people the notes from here guys just run double jump through the wall and just swing your weapon that's all you gotta do you'll fall for about i don't know uh a minute a minute and a half and you'll get 150 160k if you use a gold pickled foul foot every time you do this because you will have to use it every time you do this because you will have to fast travel to a grace point which you've got the runes pop up on your screen but if you use a gold pickled foul foot anyway you're going to get an extra 20 percent on top of the 30 percent which you get from the gold scarab talisman so yeah just keep that in mind but yeah guys those are for sure the best three farms in this game right now post 1.05 there's no doubt they're going to try and patch some of these uh, to keep trying with every update we see. But hey, we always find workarounds and that's what I'm here for. But yeah, well, I'll just stay with you until um, the ruins drop. I think there's a couple of ticks. I think there could be um, one tick, which is the initial tick, which you get a ton of ruins for, which you'll see pop up in a second. And I think there could be a couple more after that. There's definitely one more after that. You don't get as much as you do the first pop, but you get quite a bit. So there you go, it says it's got 7,000 there, but you'll see it got way over what, 150k maybe, 140k. And you'll see I will in a quick second get another tick. Now, try it guys, fall for a bit longer, see if you get any more. I'm pretty sure you do. I mean, I don't really need runes uh, myself, I'm not going to lie. There you go, there's another tick. Just like so. But yeah, from here guys, once you've got those runes, just fast travel back to the grace. And it really is guys, as simple as that rinse and repeat jump back on your horse run back down do what you gotta do guys it's that easy 
And there we have it. These are by far the best three farms in the game right now. I mean, there's many other spots in this area where you can jump off the map, but they're just tedious, difficult to take parkour, to take climbing up rocks and shit. You just don't need them. You can just do that one I just showed you. Easy. And there we have it, people. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of me, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.